All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Saturday, July 16th, and man, what the heck is going on next week? We got one event, a cooking class, that's it? Whew. I must have been on vacation or something this week last year. I don't know what happened, but uh, we've got some killer events coming up to finish up the month of July, the most excellent being our Penfolds Grange Dinner, and we do an event every year centering around the release of the new vintage of Grange, one of the great wines of Australia, one of the most collectible wines made anywhere in the world. If you travel to India, if you go to Hong Kong, if you go to London, if you go to France even, they have Penfolds Grange in the top establishments, no matter where you're at in the world. This is a wine that was created by Max Schubert in the 50s, and uh, at first this wine did not meet with critical praise. It was actually banished by the winery. They told Max to stop making it, and uh, you know, he. He still had these ideas that he could make one of the world's great wines. And unfortunately, when you're trying to make a great wine like they do in Bordeaux, uh, like they do in Burgundy, like they do in uh, California, you know, unfortunately it takes time and um, the wines take time to come around. And it wasn't until uh, four or five years after he had been making this wine in silent in secrecy that one of his wines won some major challenge in London. And then the rest is history. Penfolds Grange has become one of the icons of the wine industry and uh, one of the most collectible wines in the world, as I just mentioned. $500 a bottle for the new release. Wow, makes this dinner look like a real value. Not only do you get to try the current release of Grange, which is 2006, but we will have two or three, maybe four older vintages of Grange on the table as well. Grange, uh, mostly Shiraz, but uh, there is Cabernet in the blend most of the time. Not all the time. It's a blend of the greatest Shiraz produced every vintage throughout South Australia from Adelaide down to Melbourne. And uh, pretty much by the production of Grange, you can tell just how good the vintage was in South Australia. The more Grange they make, the better the vintage was. The, less, the shorter the Grange production is, the more difficult the vintage was. But in addition to Grange which will have 98 on the table. I'm negotiating. We may have some 71 here, a legendary old vintage. And then, uh, you know, who knows? It's a surprise what else we're going to be showing. But you know you're going to at least get 98, 2006. You are also going to get a five-course tasting menu at Cafe Max, including Faux Gras, one of the greatest things to pair with Shiraz. We will be showing some other top-level wines from Penfold's portfolio, RWT, possibly 707. You know, like I said, we've got the menu picked. I've got some wines on there, but the folks from Foster's, from Treasury Wine Estates today, always send us some goodies from their cellar out in Napa Valley. That's right, the Treasury Wine Group owns Behringer, they own Stag's Leap Winery, they own several other wineries out in Napa Valley, and uh, well, Penfolds being probably the crown jewel in the whole portfolio, well, the group is from Australia, and uh, you know, Penfolds one of the hottest wines not only in Australia, but the rest of the world because of... That's right, folks, the, the demand in the Far East. That's right, folks. So check it out. We've included on this offer everything we've got in the store, everything we got in the warehouse from Penfolds, an incredible collection. So check it out on today's email. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.